Good morning, welcome to... Fun Math number 190. Hey, look at that. We had to, to turn the camera on backwards because I made a mistake when I wrote the problem down the first time. Okay, so this was a problem from the old, an old MCA that we were working on this morning. And you actually did six problems this morning and squeezed all six problems, all your work for them, into this tiny little corner of a piece of paper. <laughs> so this would be a good amount of work to show on these problems if you were the size of a fruit fly, <laughs> right? But we would, probably we want to work on working a little harder. And then what we've circled here is the work you did on this problem. Okay? Yeah. Now, is that a lot of work? Not too much. Not too much. Okay, so let's investigate a little bit. When you, when you have a problem like this, what, what is it that you want to do? Well, you can make a simpler problem. Well, you could make a simpler problem, but this is actually a pretty simple problem. To, to begin with, right? It's not super yeah. hard. What do you need to do here to get this, to solve this problem? Well, you just have to sum up all this stuff. Okay, you have to sum up, all the fractions have the same denominator, right? Yeah. So you really just need to sum up the, the numbers on the top and then divide by 10. Well, I know from 1 to 9 is 45. You know from 1 to 9 is 45. Mm-hmm. What did you write on your scratch paper? Actually, I wrote 55. Ooh, whoops. So, so you know one through nine is forty-five. Well, we just—it's—it's it's gonna be this forty-five plus fifty-five over ten. Okay, and what does that equal to? This is a hundred over ten, just ten. Okay, so now, so you made a very s simple mistake. You accidentally thought one through nine was fifty-five, but and so so you ended up getting this problem wrong. But it's not so good to just have stuff memorized. Because sometimes, when you have it memorized, you just make a little mistake, right? Yeah. So what should you do on this problem? What would be a good thing to do rather than just saying, okay, I know what 1, through one plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus up to 9 is? Well, we could do our little backwards trick. Okay, actually add it up. Okay, so show how you could add up 1 through 9. Well, yeah, we should leave that out. Yeah, show me how you would add so, up 1 through 9. We'd write it backwards. Okay, you can write it backwards. And then we get 10 plus 10 plus plus 10 plus 10. And this is 10 times 9 over 2, or 5 times 9, or 45. Okay. How many tens is that? It's nine tens. It's nine tens. So this is not ten times nine over two. What is this? What is this sum here? It's nine tens. Which is what? Nine times ten. Which is? Which is ninety. Ninety. Okay. So that's ninety. So first we write it forwards, then we write it backwards, and then we get ninety. Okay? So yeah. just try to get you to slow down a little bit. This is not, this sum, what you just said is this sum is 45. It's not. It's not 45. What is this sum? This sum is 90. This sum is 90. Okay. Now what? Well, now, we counted, we counted this over twice. We counted that twice. This plus this is the same thing. So we have to divide this by 2. Now we have to divide that by 2. And That's we get 45. 45. Okay, so what I, what I, hoping we can do over the summer working on these old problems is get practice sort of understanding the problem solving process. Right now you see this and you say, oh, I remember what 1 through 9 is. And then there's this old procedure that you sort of also remember. But I want you to get to the point where you say, okay, 1 through, one through 9, okay, I remember how to do that. Add it up, add it up, that's 90. Now i got to divide by 2, that's 45. Because okay, the danger of just having a bunch of stuff memorized is you say, oh, I remember what this is. It's... It's 45. Yeah, but what did you do during the Actually, problem? I remember what this is. This is... 55. 55, yeah. And, it, and what's the problem? That it's really 45. It's not 55. And then what happened? You said this was 55 plus 55 divided by 10, which is 11. And 11 was? Wrong. And a choice. It was a choice. So these people who write these problems are pretty sneaky. Yeah, they know, you know what the mistake you're going to make. They know what the mistake you're going to make is. And isn't it strange that they, they knew you were going to make that mistake? Yeah. Wow. So, see the problem, okay? Just 
check. Do it. There's no rush on these tests, right? Yeah. Do it. Boom. And you're done. Okay. Good job.